So we choose to serve a population of students who are often seen as a risk for school's graduation rate because they're under such pressure for their graduation rate. We also, through work with data and diving into our impact, we look at subgroups. How are girls doing? How are boys doing? How are students doing across different language groups? How do we ensure that students have a culturally responsive curriculum? How do we ensure that students have a curriculum that develops their social emotional skills and really attends to their needs? What do we do in an era where students feel threatened all the time because of rampant xenophobia? So equity is something that is really the lifeblood of our schools and it's something that we, we talk about this and we talk about issues and teachers learn not to be afraid of talking about sensitive issues with students because students are coming into the classroom as people and they're living those issues in the classroom, outside of the classroom. So that's part of the teaching and learning process. I think when we are looking at New York City as a whole, um, uh, there's a larger question about um, equity with regards to access to high quality education and also equity when it comes to outcomes. Um, uh, by the fact that these international schools exist and that they work really closely together, um, uh, we're able to see much greater access to high quality classroom environments in which students are front and center. Um, oftentimes in a typical district school, um, there might be only a small minority of students that are learning English just for the very first time, um, especially learning English um, uh, as an older high school student. Um, uh, for whom uh, the teachers may not be as aware of the proper sort of background and context to be able to best support them, um, or may not have access to the high quality social workers and guidance counselors uh, who really know how to be able to work with these students. And so as a whole, we're seeing increased access to high quality education, but we're also seeing dramatic differences when we're looking at exam scores and graduation rates. Um, uh, when we're looking at the internationals as a district, um, uh, their graduation rate is more than two two times higher than the New York State average when we're looking at similar populations. So for our school, equity is the foundation of all the work that we do. One of the values that we opened on was this idea of dignity, that each person is respected for the value that they have in themselves. And by always focusing on what the individual student needs, keeps us conscious of where we still have room to grow in supporting them. So for every student who's successful, the question always comes back of what else could be done. And for the students who aren't successful, we spend a lot of time really trying to think about what else could have existed to help that student to be successful too. Um, so one of our teachers describes it as making sure everybody gets fed. Um, and so keeping that kind of work at the center of our practice in all the decisions we make, I think, helps us to stay close to the idea of equity. There's kind of a second definition of equity, which is this idea of ownership. And I think that by involving student voice and letting them bring their experiences into the school also brings in a different kind of equity because they have some sense of command over the thing that they're gonna take outside of the school. The school exists for them and the product is what they take with them. So if we're able to give them a space where they can create something that they're going to take, then that's equity.